Hi, it's Michelle Ockers, facilitator of the AITD Social and Collaborative Learning Essentials Program. This is a short demonstration of how to use Twitter lists. Um, the question came up, how do I use Twitter lists in our unit recently on public social media? Uh, now I am on a Mac desktop, so the functionality might be a little bit different on a Windows environment. Um, and also on mobile devices uh, in terms of where you find things, but it basically operates the same. So you've got your little um, icon of yourself or whatever your um, graphic representation of yourself is, your profile picture on the top right of your desktop. And if you click on it, you get a drop down list. Click on lists and what it pulls up, you can see here, it might be empty if you've not used lists before. It's got here two types of lists. One's lists that I am subscribed to. They are lists I've either created myself, and I'll show you one of those in a moment, or lists that someone else has created and I've decided to follow. And then lists that I am a member of. So if someone adds you to a list, you can see the lists they've put you on, which can be interesting. But we're just going to focus on the lists that I've subscribed to. Um, now, Here's one example, my L&D daily list. Um, I'll show you how to create a list in a moment, but I'll just show you what it looks like and what the functionality is first. So I've just clicked on that. You can see here, this is a public list that I have created. And I've got a brief description of what the list is. Um, I've got 13 people I've added to the list and one other person has subscribed to it. Uh, so I can either just view the list members. So you can see here, everyone I have added to that list. I can see who has subscribed to my list. Mike Taylor has subscribed. But if we go back to list members, the other thing I can do is have a look at tweets. So what this will do is it shows me a subset of my Twitter feed, just all the things being posted on Twitter by the 13 people that I've got on this list. So you can see it's a pretty neat way to filter out things other than those relevant to this particular topic or the set of people that I've decided to create a list around for whatever reason. Um, now I have other lists here. Science of Learning is an example of another list. Um, so I can click through all my lists and just view um, pretty quickly using that the list as a filter mechanism, things around a particular topic of interest. So here's my science of learning list. Unfortunately, I've only got one person. I obviously started a list and didn't go any further with that. I can think of people I should be adding to that. So that might be something I do in a moment. But if you want to create your own list from scratch, the way you do that from your list functionality, right down the bottom, initially you won't have all of these lists that I have if you haven't created any or subscribed to any, but right down the bottom is this um, option to create new list. I can give that list a name. I'm just going to call it demonstration. I can give that list a description. I'll just type in a brief one. And I can either make it public so anyone can access it, see the people on the list and follow it, or I can make it private if for some reason I don't want people to see that list. Um, so I'm just going to make it public for the moment. I hit save list and that list has been created. Now I need to find people to add to my list. There are a couple of ways I can do that. I can do that firstly by putting particular people in. So I might say I'd like the AITD to be on that list. So I know their handle, I put that in, I search for them. And now here I go, I have found them. I click on the little drop down here, the three dots on the right of their account tab. And I can say, I can pick from the drop down menu, add or remove to lists. Um, now I've already got them on one list. You can see here on L and D, what did I call this? Something like demonstration. I just put tick in the box for that list and they're added. So now if I go back to my list, so I'll just use my tab button to go back to the list. Um, I can see under the list demonstration that I've got one member and that list member is AITD. I'll come up here um, and I can see all the tweets that the AITD has made. Now the other way to add someone 
um, is simply to, if I was doing some searches, let's say, um, I'm, let's just say I'm in my normal Twitter feed. So if I just go to my home um, and I can see here, Shy Desai um, is someone I obviously follow, but if I decide I want to add Shy to that list, I simply go to his profile. So if you're on someone's profile and you want to add them to a list, again, you've got these three buttons to the right of the following or unfollow button. And if you click on those, it will allow you to add or remove them from lists. You can see Shy is actually already on a couple of lists. I just click on demonstration and he is now added to that list. So if I go back to my lists and I have a look at demonstration, you'll see I now have two members, Shy being one of them and the AITD being the other. You can see Shy's been uh, busier than the AITD. So that should be um, all of the tweets from both Shy and the AITD. We might have to scroll down a bit. Oh, there we go. There's an AITD entry from October 25. They haven't been as active as Shy has been. Um, so that is an example of how you create your own list um, and how you can use it to add people quite readily and filter. What I'd also like to show you is how to follow someone else's list. So let's pick someone I know has some lists, Jane Bozar. So let's say you've found someone on Twitter, you're looking at their profile and you think, well, that's, that's pretty interesting. They're sharing a lot of relevant things. I wonder what sources they're using to get that information. Um, who do they follow or what list do they have? Now you can see here, I'm on Jane Bozar's profile and quite close to the header, the top right menu item there is lists. So if I click on lists, I can see the lists that Jane has and I might decide I want to subscribe to one of her lists. I can click on that. I'll just open that list and then I will subscribe to it. My internet's a little slow today. All right. So here is Jane's list called Narrating Work, a public list by Jane Bozar. You can see here the subscribe button. I click on that. And now if I go to my lists, I will be able to see that I have added to the lists that I'm subscribed to, this one called Narrating Work by Jane Bozar. Let me just wait for my internet to catch up with me here to show you that. Um, here we go, lists, if I go to, where is it, narrating work? It should be down here somewhere. Hmm, let me just refresh that. With my internet being a little bit slow, that may not have picked up. It should probably be right on top of the demonstration list there. Anyway, that's being a little slow just because of my internet, but that's how you subscribe to a list and it will appear there in your list button.